Hi. How are you guys tonight? So, um, it is pizza night. So, I don't know. When I was a kid, Friday was always pizza night. So, I thought it was perfect fitting. And I've made regular pizza with fathead dough for you guys. But I thought tonight, um, my friend Deborah sent me a deconstructed um, pizza. So, I thought I'd try it. And I pre-made a little bit. Well, I'm going to show you that here in a few minutes. But I'm going to show you how I made it. So the first thing I did was um, just went and bought the supplies. And the sausage was hard to find. Um, the recipe calls for, and I attached the recipe, turkey sausage. But I couldn't find any. So I found just regular sausage. But I really had to search. There was probably five or six different kinds. And I finally found one, one out of all of that didn't have sugar added. So I found that and, um, and then the rest was just easy stuff. And I have this whole, this sauce that I use for spaghetti or mozzarella sticks or whatever. And I'm going to use that inside the, the pizza as well. Cause it's very, very low in sugar. Cause you're going to want to watch tomatoes. That's one of the things that has sugar in it. So, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna put mushrooms in there before it pops all over the place. So that was my pan that I had the sausage in. Um, I had to pre-cook it because it would have taken too long and I know you guys don't wanna be on here forever. It's Friday night, you probably have a date, right? Okay, so I cooked off the sausage and that's what you see here. Just regular breakfast sausage with no sugar added and I cooked that off and put it in the bottom of the pan. And then it calls for mushrooms. So I added a little, you can see in that jar there, that's bacon grease. Hi, Maria, how are you? Um, remember, I Ryan cooked off that, um, what's it called? The pork stuff. It's like the, the bacon, the um, pork belly. Pork belly. Ugh. So he cooked that off, and that's the leftover um, oil or grease from it. So you always want to save that kind of stuff. Who out there saves their um, bacon grease? Hi, Sherry. All right, so on top of this sausage, I am going to put a little bit of oregano, of some ground pepper. So everybody saves their bacon grease. Always want to save it because it's perfect for cooking things like this. So especially if you're keto, and this recipe is for either keto or low carb, either one. And you just wanna saute in it anything you can because it's gonna give you that extra fat, right? All right, so I just wanted to saute those a little bit because the recipe called for it. And then of course, pink Himalayan salt, which is almost empty. And the reason for that is because minerals. Um, I season my green beans with my grease, yes. I also love garlic and actual bacon chunks in my green beans, that's the best. Um, so pink and land salt and minerals, electrolytes, all the goodness, you need that. You need to have it with you wherever you travel, right? All right, so we put sausage, oregano, salt and pepper. Now we're gonna take our, oh wait, oh no, our next thing is the sauce. Let me take these mushrooms off. Yeah. We'll get a spoon here. And the sauce. It, the recipe that you guys are gonna see up there calls for actually diced tomatoes. And that's fine, and I actually bought some that were very low in sugar. But I forgot I had this in the fridge and I just didn't want it to go to waste. So I'm using this. But you could do both or either. You just want to be careful because this is where most of your carbs are going to come from is this sauce. Okay? So we layered just a little bit of um, red sauce on that. And then our mushrooms. We just sauteed them a little bit. I don't know that you actually have to. The recipe called for it, so I'm trying to follow the recipe, but I don't know that it's necessary. You know, you're going to bake it, so my oven's at 400. The recipe that's up above t 
tells you, first time watching from down in Louisiana. Well, thank you for um, joining us on a Friday night for pizza. Um, so the recipe says to bake it for 25 minutes. And I think that all depends on how big. Because this little one that I baked, honestly, it was probably, you can kind of see it back in the back, 10, 15 minutes, and that's it. You just want, because everything is really cooked. So all you're doing is just m blending those flavors together and melting the cheese, and that's it. So I would not recommend this one for 25 minutes. It'll just be a mess. So um, I would, I'm gonna probably put it in for 15. So the next thing we're gonna put on top is the mozzarella cheese. So I buy my mozzarella cheese, but I always, always lecture you guys that you should um, shred your own. And I just don't because I'm kind of lazy and um, I own a restaurant and so I bring it home from there. <laughs> but because they put potato starch on all of cheeses so it won't stick together, that's why I recommend that you always um, shred it yourself and then just bag it up and you can freeze it or whatever you want with it, okay? So we got cheese on there and then we're gonna just layer it with pepperoni and checking your ingredients. Everything, you have to check everything, you guys. They hide sugar all the time. I mean, who? why would you add sugar to, hi Darcy, um, to sausage. Why? It makes zero sense to me. But everything they do it. So I'm gonna top it with a little bit more cheese. They they don't say that in the recipe, but I think it'll just be a little bit nicer to do that. So I always send out a text. Did everybody get their text that told you I was going live? If you didn't and you want to, let me know. And then, like always, I always say this every time. Um, if you're not already always follow, already following me, touch my nose. You'll see three little dots. Follow. Um, I put C first on people I follow so that I always see them at the top. And then, of course, sharing the video. And why I ask you to share is because um, since January, I've been striving to help people to see keto and to learn keto, how easy it is, how easy low carb is, how delicious it can be, but I can't do it all by myself. So I need your help and I need your help by sharing it, sharing it into groups that you're in, sharing it onto your friends pages, your own page, whatever it is. I'm not sure I should be watching this, LOL. No, if you're fasting, this isn't a good thing to watch because it's delicious. So maybe not. All right, I'm gonna put this into the oven now. Just gonna set the timer for 10 minutes and we'll see what it looks like okay and here so I gave a little bit of this to Ryan so it's not as pretty as it was but that is the finished product minus half <laughs> he was starving so I was being nice and uh, let him have some so I'm gonna take a bite so you're gonna just not have the crust that's it um, and this would be such an easy, ooh, that's a big bite, huh? Maybe I shouldn't do that. Let's cut that in half. So this would even be a good quick lunch, you know? You could throw this together as long as you have the ingredients. Why not? So I have mushrooms in this bite, sausage, pepperoni and cheese, so I have everything in this bite. Mm. Mm. It tastes like pizza. Boy, that sausage is good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take another bite. That's how good it is. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, so good, you guys. Looks so delicious. Yeah, it is fake. Hi, Rachel. Mmm. So good. All right, that's it. That other one's gonna cook for about 10, 15 minutes. And then I will put a picture of that finished one in the comments, okay? So if you have um, any recommendations, you want to see me cook something, put it in the comments. I'm remembering to follow me and then also share. And that's about it, you guys. Um, short and sweet tonight. I'm gonna um, watch a movie, eat some pizza, and um, just kind of try to stay warm because it's kind of cold here. I had to turn the heat on. It was off and I had to turn it on today. Um, it was like 60 something in here when I got home. So it was cold. 
Anyway, I will talk to you later. I will see you tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing tomorrow. I keep forgetting, but I will see you tomorrow with something delicious, okay? Have a good night, guys. Bye.